Hello everyone, my name is Sheikh Irfan and in this video we are going to see properties of hardened fiber reinforced concrete. See, whenever we see the property of any concrete, there are two possibilities. First, when the concrete is in wet condition or is in plastic state, then it will possess some other properties and when the concrete is in hardened state, then it will possess some other properties. So, we will be focusing in this video totally on fiber reinforced concrete when it is in hard state means when it is completely set then that properties we are going to study so hardened frc will have two types of properties so the properties of hardened fiber reinforced concrete will be categorized into two first will be mechanical properties and then we will see physical properties so let's see what are the mechanical properties of hardened frc that is fiber reinforced concrete the first property is compressive strength then flexural strength then shear strength torsion and toughness so these are the mechanical properties of hard fiber reinforced concrete which is already set and which is not in wet condition means it is after the completely it has achieved its strength the, the, those properties are in the hardened state that is compressive strength flexural strength shear strength torsion strength and toughness and these are nothing but mechanical properties now let's see what are the physical properties of hardened frc see physical properties will be unit weight that is self weight of the concrete then abrasion resistance friction and skid resistance and permeability so we will see them one by one so let's see what is compressive strength how we can define compressive strength of hard frc that is fiber reinforced concrete see the compressive strength of frc is nothing but a measure of its ability to resist the loads and which loads obviously compressive loads which tend to it compress it simply compressive strength will be nothing but a measure of its ability to resist loads which are compressive in nature so that is nothing but compressive strength and compressive strength of this concrete is that strength or that strength of hardened concrete or fiber reinforced concrete which is measured by which test compression test see in the picture you can see here this is utm or ctm compressive testing machine generally we use for the uh, determining the compressive strength of concrete cube generally we what we do we make a cube out of that concrete and we test it under the compressive testing machine this is nothing but picture of compressive testing machine we make first a cube of that concrete and then we test it so as i am saying that it can be uh, tested either by using cylindrical or cube of concrete what we will do we will make the concrete and we will make either the cylinder or the cube of concrete and that specimen will be tested under compression testing machine and in simple words compressive strength can how can it can be calculated see whenever you are testing the compressive strength of a cube or cylinder that machine that is nothing but compression testing machine will give you the load at which it will fail and if you want to determine the compressive strength we have to divide it by the area of application of load for example if this is a cube and the, say the cube size is 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter means its width is 15 centimeter its depth is 15 centimeter and its length is also 15 centimeter so, so simply it is a 15 centimeter cube for example so its application area means area of application of load will be c this 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter that is nothing but length into width will be that area which will come in the contact with this load so we have to take that area which will come in the contact with the load so that area will be 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter or you can say 150 mm by 150 mm that is nothing but area and if you want to determine compressive strength you, you just have to divide failure load divided by the area and usually we test it in after 28 days of curing this cube or cylinder is generally tested after the 20 days of curing so that is nothing but compressive strain and that is the first mechanical property of hardened frc then the next property is flexural strength or you can say bending strength simply so flexural strength is the measure of tensile strength of concrete we have to if you want to determine the tensile strength of concrete 
that is nothing but flexural strength see it is a measure of concrete beam or slab to resist the failure in bending simply if my concrete fails in bending then i will say that my concrete is not having proper flexural strength it is failing in flexure and it is measured by loading a concrete beam which is nothing but 150 by 150 mm that is that will be a concrete beam and in our case it is as it is frc so we will be uh, testing frc that is fiber reinforced concrete beam and its dimension will be 150 by 150 and its span or length will be three times its depth see it is a measure of concrete beam or slabs resistance capacity or failure capacity against bending simply if my beam is failing in flexure or nothing but flexure is nothing but bending then i will say that it does not have or it has it is failing in flexure so flexure strength is nothing but its capacity against bending failure and it will be measured by a concrete beam we will apply load over the concrete beam and that load will be nothing but bending load so we will apply some load over the beam and that beam will be 150 by 150 mm and in our case as we are using frc so the beam will be fiber reinforced concrete beam and its length will be or span will be three times its depth so it's simple we have to test this beam and we have to again calculate the flexural strength and it is also known as modulus of rupture or we can say bend strength simply and it can be defined in a proper way that it is defined as the stress in a material just before it yields in flexural stress see we will record that value of load at which our member or our beam will fail in flexure in this test we will record that load just before the failure or that load at which our beam will fail or it will yield in flexural test and uh, the procedure is same you have to take the load and you have to divide it by the area of application of loading then the next property is shear strength it's simple shear strength is the ability of fiber and post concrete to resist shear forces so definition is simple and see in the shear strength whenever the shear force is the force external force is applied so there are chances of developing such cracks see as you can see in the picture here these are nothing but shear cracks which are or diagonal cracks which develop due to the external loading so if my fiber reinforced concrete is able to take shear forces without any failure without any cracks then it will have shear strength so shear strength is simply resistance against shear forces and the next mechanical property is torsion torsion is nothing but twisting of concrete member in our case as it is fiber reinforced concrete so any fiber reinforced concrete member if it is getting twisted by maybe due to a torque then it is called as torsion see in the picture here here a moment or a torque is applied over the beam or a member and due to that it is getting twisted so that is nothing but torsion and in several situations beams and slabs are subjected to torsion in addition of this bending moment and shear forces means shear forces and bending moment will be there they will be developed due to external forces but in addition to that there are chances that there will be also torsion then the next mechanical property is toughness so how we can define the toughness it is the capability of material or concrete to absorb the energy and deform plastically without any fracture see if my concrete is plastic enough that it is getting deformed due to external loading and it is not getting fractured then i will say that my concrete has toughness and it is also defined as the materials resistance to fracture when it is stressed when you are applying external load over the concrete member or a structure what will happen it will get stretched and because of that there are chances of fracture and if it giving the resistance against that fracture that is nothing but toughness so it's simple now let's see the physical properties of hardened fiber reinforced concrete so the first property is unit weight of 
fiber reinforced concrete. So how we can define the unit weight? See, it is the ratio of weight per unit volume of concrete. Simply, weight we will know. We will just weigh the concrete. Say, for example, this is the concrete block which is made up of fiber reinforced concrete, and we have to calculate its unit weight. So what I will do? First, I will calculate. I will take the self weight of that uh, particular member or particular cube, and I will divide it by volume. And volume, how how I can cal calculate the volume? It is simple: length into width into height. So if you want to calculate or if you want to find out unit weight of a particular FRC member, so it is nothing but ratio of weight per unit of volume. Means we will divide it by volume, and we will get the unit weight. So, what is the unit weight of uh, generally the plain cement concrete? See, the unit weight of plain cement concrete is twenty-four kilonewton per meter cube, and RCC, that is reinforced cement concrete, has unit weight of twenty-five kilonewton per meter cube. See, its unit is kilonewton per meter cube. Means we will take the weight of that particular structure or particular member or particular material. in our case it is fiber reinforced concrete so weight of fiber reinforced concrete will be taken in kilonewton and it will be divided by its volume so volume is as it is three dimension so we are dividing it by kilonewton per meter cube so its unit will be kilonewton per meter cube okay so plain cement plain cement concrete will have 24 kilonewton per meter cube unit weight then the unit weight of reinforced cement concrete will be 25 kilonewton per meter cube and lightweight concrete has Unit weight of three to eighteen kilonewton per meter cube. We have seen this lightweight concrete, especially in our previous videos. So its weight is three to eighteen kilonewton per meter cube. And see, fiber reinforced concrete will have unit weight of fourteen to fifteen kilonewton per meter cube. So unit weight is nothing but weight per unit volume. Then the next physical property is abrasion resistance. See, abrasion resistance refers to the ability of concrete to resist wearing due to the contact with another surface. Simply, if a concrete is getting weared, or it is getting disintegrated, or it is getting deteriorated due to the external forces or due to any action, so that is nothing but abrasion. And if it is get, if it is resisting those wearing and tearing of that particular surface, then I will say. that my concrete has good abrasion resistance so concrete should have good abrasion resistance means my concrete should uh, resist external forces so that it will not wear and tear and it will uh, resist disintegration or deterioration of surfaces so simply abrasion resistance will be resistance against the wearing of surfaces and wearing of concrete surface occurs due to weathering actions as i told you disintegration weathering is nothing but disintegration or deterioration so any deteriorating action or any disintegrating action will lead in the wearing of the concrete surface even the tidal waves if you are constructing sea structures then tidal waves are one of the most important factors that influence the wearing of concrete and various chemical attacks also will influence the wearing of concrete so wearing of concrete will occur due to any weathering actions or maybe due to tidal waves in the sea structures and various chemical attacks and if this attacks or this actions that is weathering actions sea structures if they are getting resisted then i will say that my concrete has abrasion resistance means it is not getting wear so abrasion resistance is resistance against these actions then the next physical property is friction and skid resistance see whenever a fiber reinforced concrete is used in construction of pavements especially if you are using the fiber reinforced concrete in construction of pavements that is in case of roads a force may develop and that force is nothing but when a tire that is prevented from rotating whenever you are applying a brake so it you are preventing it from the rotating so whenever you are applying the brake that is nothing but you are preventing it from rotating it will slide along the pavement surface and that is nothing but skid resistance simply whenever you are using frc in the construction of pavement so what happens obviously the vehicles will pass over it and whenever the vehicle pass 
and if you are applying a brake or whenever you prevent the rotating of the tire what will happen there will be sliding along the pavement surface and that is nothing but skid resistance and the last physical property of hardened fiber reinforced concrete will be permeability we have seen this definition permeability let's just uh, see the definition only see it is the property that controls the rate of flow of water into the concrete through porous space see if my fiber reinforced concrete has porous space then what will happen that concrete or that porous space will allow the passage of water through its interconnected voids or empty spaces so that property is nothing but permeability simply if water is able to flow through it that concrete then it is called as permeable concrete and natch if you are using natural fibers such as bamboo fiber so this bamboo fiber has highest permeability among other fibers which are used in fiber reinforced concrete as we have seen in case of types of fibers or classification of fibers that bamboo fibers will have highest permeability among other fibers so if you are using natural fibers and even and out of that natural fiber if you are using bamboo fibers then they will have highest permeability so permeability is nothing but property of flow of water if my concrete is able to flow or if my concrete is allowing the passage of water through its interconnected uh, space or porous space then that property will be called as permeability so this was the video about properties of hardened concrete we have seen mechanical properties as well as physical properties of hardened frc that is fiber enclosed concrete thank you